Johns of Minnesota is in lane nine. St. John's the ones to watch, at least in qualifying, 40.78. One of three in this heat, sub 41 seconds. And they have Ryan Miller anchoring a sophomore who is number two in the 100 meter dash in qualifying. We'll see him tomorrow as well. Runners are set. Men's four by 100 relay, our second heat. John Carroll and Wisconsin Lacrosse have already moved on. The threshold of time is below them, 41.27 of Wisconsin Oshkosh. So if you exceed that mark as a third or fourth place finisher or beyond in this heat, you can get yourself into that finale on Saturday. It'll be a 12.05 final. And a good push here from St. John's on the outside. They came in number one in qualifying, showing why. Going to be a tight finish. This is Ryan Miller on the outside, dueling it out with Redlands. And it is St. John's in Minnesota and Ryan Miller they nip Mitt Redlands by three hundredths of a second, 40.94, Redlands 40.97, and then the final times, Adrian comes in third, 41.24, so they are in, and then a packed group beyond them as well, you can see Bridgewater 41.33, Loris 41.48, Rowan two tenths back, and then Greenville nine tenths back there, just under 41.6. Ryan Miller is certainly happy about his performance, and why not? Let's take another look at how this one wrapped up. Ryan Miller, number two time in qualifying in the 100 meter. Look at that final stretch. Well done by the sophomore. Again, he'll have plenty more to say about this championship before we're done. We'll see him tomorrow. A guy who has burst onto the scene this year. And certainly one to watch here in Geneva.